Okay, kinetic energy. Um, this is one of the main topics of this unit. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Uh, the faster an object moves, the more kinetic energy it has. So a race car has a lot of kinetic energy. And the heavier something is, the more kinetic energy it has. So if this sumo wrestler is moving, he has a lot of kinetic energy because of his mass. Whereas the race car had a lot of kinetic energy because of its high velocity. Okay, um, you might... You should write down those key points, uh, pause the slide if you need to, and then I'm going to move on to the equation for kinetic energy. So pause if you need to now. The equation for calculating kinetic energy is Ke equals one-half mass times velocity squared. Mass is measured in kilograms, and its variable is m. Velocity is measured in meters per second, and its variable is v. And notice that that velocity does get squared. And there's a one-half in the equation, so fact of the universe, something's kinetic energy is one-half mass times velocity squared. Um, the reason that one-half is there comes from calculus, and it's unlikely that anyone in the class has gotten to antiderivatives yet, and so I'm not sure I could explain in a way that would convince you why there's a one-half there mathematically. But for now, take it as a fact of the universe that something's kinetic energy is one-half times its mass times its velocity squared. And kinetic energy has the same unit as work, which actually in the next video I'm going to talk about why that is. But the unit for kinetic energy is joules. Joule is a unit for energy. And moving on, make sure you've got all the stuff on this slide written down. Pause the video if you need to. So now I'm going to do a couple kinetic energy factor change examples. This is mainly to get you used to using the equation and to see how each of the variables relates to each other. If an object's velocity triples but its mass is unchanged, by what factor does the object's kinetic energy change? Well, first of all, I don't want to write in red. First of all, kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. And the problem says if the object's velocity triples. So if the object's velocity triples, I would just write that in the equation. Now since velocity is squared, whatever happens to it gets squared. So I'm going to use parentheses here, and I'm going to color code the part that's changing so you can see what changes. Um, we can go ahead and find the number here because this squared applies to both things inside. And so that equation becomes kinetic energy equals one-half m times 9 v squared. And it should be obvious to you that in order to get this, we had to multiply the original equation by 9. So the answer to the question, by what factor does the object's kinetic energy change? It changes by, so changes by a factor of 9. So the kinetic energy got 9 times bigger is what that means. You shouldn't leave this slide thinking, oh, I just plug in numbers because that's what the video told me to do. If an object's velocity were to triple, it has 9 times as much kinetic energy. So that's what you need to walk away with. However you change the velocity, the square of that change is how much the kinetic energy changes. So if my velocity doubled, I'd have four times as much kinetic energy. If I had five times as much velocity, I'd have 25 times as much kinetic energy. If I had 10 times as much velocity, I'd have 100 times as much kinetic energy. So velocity squared is, determines kinetic energy, and that's what you've got to take away from here. If an ma object's mass were to double, while maintaining constant velocity, by what factor would the object's kinetic energy change? So we'll refer to the equation to solve this, k equals 1 half mv squared. Now the mass is not squared, that means there's a linear relationship, um, they're directly related between mass and kinetic energy, linear relationship between mass and kinetic energy. So let's plug in the change, kinetic energy equals 1 half, we double the mass, 2 m and v squared. Now the answer should already be obvious to you. 
to get this right here, we had to multiply this equation by 2. Now I imagine there are a lot of people right now thinking, wait, don't the 1 half and the 2 cancel out? Yes. But what we're doing here is seeing how much the equation changes whenever we change one of the variables. So all that matters is you notice the equation's two times bigger. Even if I rewrote the equation with the 1 half and the 2 canceling out, so my new ke is mv squared, this is still two times bigger than the original equation. The point is just to realize, though, that if you double the mass, the kinetic energy doubles. If you triple the mass, kinetic energy triples. Mass and kinetic energy are, are linear, linearly related. However you change the mass, the kinetic energy changes just as much compared to velocity, whereas how much you change the velocity, the kinetic energy changes by the square of whatever you did to the velocity. All right, if you need to rewatch any of that again, if any of it was confusing, um, very short videos tonight, a series of them, so be sure to watch that again if you need to. And that's all.